composing gloves here with Amp Studio and Chord Creator has officially left beta. There is a version now that you can go and try out. It's stable and there's even been some improvements made. So let's go ahead and talk about how do you even get to this cool thing. So starting from a blank template, you just double click to add a region and then double click on the region to open its editing area. And then you have to check this Chord Creator box right here. Once you're in here, you can simply pick a chord. Let's go for an A minor chord. Then you can click to add another chord and maybe we will go for an E minor. For the next chord, let's go for a F. And for the last chord, we could go for another E. Yeah, let's go for another E. And we can even choose a different flavor for this E over here. So on this E, maybe we choose something a little different just so it's not two E's in a row. So maybe we go for an E sus4. And so once we're in here, we can go ahead and now edit this. For example, we can add a rhythm. Right now it's on whole notes. Let's go for eighth notes. And we can adjust the spacing of the eighth notes. So maybe we'll get a little pluck going. And our loop region up here is short, which is why it's playing back shortly. So, or it's only playing one loop. So now it'll play through the whole bar. And what I think would be a good idea is why don't we go ahead and we take this one and I'm going to hold down shift and push down to go down an octave. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of rearrange these notes so that they are, you know, a little bit closer together, a little bit better of what's called voicing. Now, if you don't know what that means, basically all you need to do is look for notes that are kind of just sticking up and out of the way and move them down an octave and you can get some really nice effects this way. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this down and I'm going to also take this one down. All right, so now using Chord Creator, we have this. Really nice. Now let's go. Let's uh, let me find another sound here. All right, got a different sound. Let's add a little bit of reverb to it, and let's go ahead and add a drum loop. Let's get a bass line going. And now finally, a melody. That's a little bit about chord creator how you can quickly use it to create some chords and get some inspiration to make something pretty fast if you have any questions about this feel free to let us know and try amp studio today